Hey guys, I think I'm going to do a series of videos on a case that we haven't really discussed that much yet. We talked about it a little bit last night in the live chat, and we've talked about it just a couple of times before. But I'm thinking I'm going to do a few videos on this case. This is the case of Kyle Rittenhouse. He was 17 years old during the riots in Wisconsin. When he shot and killed a man, the man's name was Rosenbaum. He's on trial for murder. And the trial is ongoing as we speak. Well, actually, not today, because today is Saturday. But the trial is right now still in the middle of the state's case being presented to the court. To the jurors. I want to start off by saying I do not believe that Kyle Rittenhouse should have ever been arrested stemming from the shooting death of Rosenbaum. And I want you to notice I didn't say stemming from the shooting death of the victim Rosenbaum because in my opinion just my opinion on a very high profile case that is on the public stage again just my opinion I do not believe that Rosenbaum was a victim of anybody but himself I appreciate the judge's stance on the word victim in his courtroom. He does not allow the state or the defense to use the word victim in front of the jurors. It isn't just about this case. That's his position. And he is very experienced and knowledgeable and insightful, in my opinion, because I do believe that it is unfair to any defendant for the state in any trial to be able to say, oh, the victim, oh, the victim, oh, the victim. One important point about this trial is that both sides stipulated to the fact, meaning nobody has to prove it, that Kyle Rittenhouse did shoot and kill Rosenbaum. That fact is already established for the jurors. That isn't what this trial is about. They don't have to decide whether or not Kyle shot and killed Rosenbaum. What they have to decide is whether or not Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense and I'll say it again I do not believe that Kyle Rittenhouse should have ever been arrested in this case one of the witnesses for the state no less one of the witnesses was an EMT who had all sorts of medical supplies and he spoke with Kyle I guess a few times at least during the evening of the riots prior to the shooting he also came in contact with Rosenbaum the state's witness testified that Rosenbaum was yelling and what he was yelling was shoot me n-word shoot me n-word at a protest for an african-american man who was shot by police I'm quoting the defense lawyer with that last sentence I'll say it again 
Rosenbaum was yelling, shoot me, N-word, shoot me, N-word, at a protest for an American, for an African-American man, Jacob Blake was his name, who was shot by police. So while you have some people at the riots chanting Black Lives Matter, in the middle of it all you have Rosenbaum yelling, shoot me, N-word, shoot me, N-word, and I'm just not going to say that word. So you guys know what the N-word means. In the middle of a Black Lives Matter rally, he's running around saying, shoot me, N-word, Shoot me, N-word. Again, in my opinion, Rosenbaum, if a victim, was a victim only of himself. The defense lawyer asked the witness on cross-examination did you view him, meaning Rosenbaum, did you view him as a threat? And the state's witness said no. And then the defense lawyer asked the question, did he ever threaten to kill you? And the state's witness said no. Because keep in mind that Rosenbaum did threaten to kill Rittenhouse. And then the defense lawyer said, did he ever say to you, if I get you alone, you're dead? And the state's witness said, no. But keep in mind, Rosenbaum did say to Kyle Rittenhouse, if I ever get you alone, you're dead. The defense lawyer said, did he ever come at you? The witness said, no. And then he said, would you have felt threatened if he was coming at you full speed? I think he said, if I was coming at you full speed. And then the state's witness said, yes. Yeah, that would be different, wouldn't it? If Rosenbaum had been charging toward the witness who was testifying. The defense lawyer said, uh, I could hit your gun if I had threatened to kill you and I was coming toward you and I reached for your gun. And then he basically asked, would you have felt threatened? And the witness said that he would consider those actions, quote, a threat to my life, yes. So why is the trial still going on? Well, of course, the state has the right to present their entire case, right? Their case in chief. But my hope in this case is that when the state closes, that the defense moves for the judge to issue a directed verdict. One witness after another for the state appears to be making the case very well for the defense. Thankfully so. So that's today's video. We'll go ahead and close this video for now and I'll be speaking in the next video about another witness. Well, not about another witness, but about her testimony. A personal friend of Rosenbaum who testified and who, in my opinion, again, served to provide the jurors with plenty of information 
and the judge. To recognize that Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense.